Good morning from me and my laundry that's drying. As you can see, yesterday was a big laundry day. I'm being responsible and air drying. I use my stepladder as another dryer. I even wash my swimsuits and I did not dry them. Are you guys proud of me? Even a nice surprise for the morning. <laughs> I washed my bath mat and other white things and I put like brightening powder in it. But I can't tell if it worked because I was trying to brighten my white swimsuit and I feel like it still looks gray. I also had my boyfriend put these LED lights around my mirror and it has changed everything for me. They're literally from Amazon and you just stick them and put them around. I almost wish I had more because it's not super bright on me, but it looks good from the side. What do we think of this zigzag headband? Do we like it? I also self-tanned my face because my face like never gets as tan as the rest of my body because like I just have a natural tan from grease. But I think I slept on my hands and now there's self-tan on my hands. Like I did not self-tan and now it looks like I did, but it was really just on my face. Like this is all natural, baby. Let's open her up. I did it. In this moment, I just don't feel like making my bed, so we're gonna wait till after coffee. <laughs> Every morning I wake up, my Kindle is on the ground because I fell asleep reading, yep. Let's get some hot coffee going. I love my morning coffee. Which mug is gonna be the culprit this morning? We'll do this, it's right in the front. I love this one from Etsy. Welcome to A Week in My Life in New York City. This is gonna be a lot of alone time, which I'm excited about. Not for any, actually for a reason. Last week I was in Greece, which I will never shut up about because it was the trip of a lifetime. And I was in a house with eight girls. So you could imagine, as fun as it was, my social battery is so low. Like not even just from them, just like from being on a trip, obviously. And I don't know, my social battery is just low. So this is gonna be a week of charging up my social battery, Cooking good meals, spending time at home, going for solo walks. I mean, like, I'm not going to not see people this week, but I'm just tired. Like, I'm literally jet lag. Like, I can't. Like, I woke up so... It's 7 a.m. I woke up at 6.30 because it's, like, 1 p.m. in Greece or something. And I've been going to bed at, like, 8, 9 p.m. every night. Like, I can't seem to get my body clock going. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I feel like a very put-together person, but... I'm just tired and I don't have much to give, so I want to be able to give stuff by the weekend. So we're going to charge up. I have like one event this week that I must go to, but um, that's not for a couple days. That's, is that tomorrow? That's Thursday. I don't even know anymore. So we're just going to charge up and see how we feel day by day. I don't feel ill which is great, I'm very thankful for that and my health. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a little week in my life of spending alone time with Ma. I just watched YouTube videos for like 30 minutes and it was fabulous. I love my YouTube mornings. I'm hungry for breakfast and I wanna get some fuel in because we're gonna go work out. And I try to listen to my body when I work out, but I always like, Usually we'll plan my workouts a night or a day or two before the day. And I plan to do Pilates this morning, which, cause I haven't been in a minute. And I feel like my body's like, I want Pilates. But also I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I kind of need to like, like I'm feeling a little like weird. Like I'm in a good mood. I'm just feeling a little like pent up. And I think it's cause I need to do some sort of cardio. So I was like, let's, do the best of both worlds, and we'll go to Equinox and do a treadmill for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna do an incline of four um, and slowly work my way back up to eight, but my arches have been really flat, so I got foot inserts and we're all set to go now, but it, a lot of it was caused from doing incline walking, at the, and the lady at the foot solution store was like, you uh, could still incline walk, just you know, slowly build it back up now that you have the foot inserts. So I was like, okay, so. I'm gonna 
do 30 minutes of like incline of four speed of three on the treadmill and then walk over to New York Pilates and it'll just be a very well-rounded workout. I'm excited. For breakfast this morning, I'm in the mood for a piece of toast and a spoonful of cottage cheese. I'm obsessed with cottage cheese, you guys. This one in specific, good culture. I get the whole milk or I've gotten the low fat before too. 14 grams of protein. I'm like obsessed and I think it's because growing up I used to have cottage cheese. Like my mom would put it in my lunchbox and I actually liked it, which doesn't make sense. If you like know me and the things I don't like, it's not on brand, so. But we'll take it. Like I hate, I hate cream cheese. Like I'm actually, like I used to have a fear of it. Now I'm kind of like, okay, Danielle, we don't need to be like scared of it, but I don't love it. Um, but yeah, fun facts about me, because I was on, you know, on this trip and all my friends, like, it's just known what I don't like. And it's annoying because I feel like I'm not annoying about it, but everyone just like knows the foods I don't like. I, I really am not annoying, but people just find it fascinating, the things I don't like. I don't like seafood because I had a really, really bad seafood, like food poisoning. Um, I was very young, I can't lie, but it still has stuck with me. I was throwing up for like three days and I just, the smell of seafood is tough for me now. However, I'll eat sushi, like some sushi, like I'll have a California roll, which some of my friends are like, that's not real sushi, but like sometimes I crave sushi. I'm like, let's go to a sushi restaurant. Like I'll go get sushi with friends because I'm like, okay, I'll get like miso soup, I'll get edamame, I'll get a California roll, we'll be fine. Um, I used to not like cheese at all other than like on pizza or like Cheez-Its. <laughs> but now I like, I mean, I like cheese boards, I eat mozzarella, I, I'll eat a cheese, like I like cheese. Like cheese is safe, but some cheeses I don't like. Um, what else do I, I don't, I don't think I'm like, I used to not, well I still don't love salad dressing, like Caesar salad dressing I don't like. Any like white salad dressing I don't really vibe with. But I like now, within the last like year, I love me like a vinaigrette, or like balsamic, same kind of vibe. So, yeah, I think that's, oh, I don't like mustard and mayo. So, I don't know, judge me if you want, but just a little thing about me. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, I'm gonna get ready to work out. That breakfast really hit the spot. I just need a cup of blueberries to swap it off and to cleanse the palate, really. happy so like i said yesterday was a big laundry day Ooh, and i basically washed everything i own so nothing is in the hamper i don't know if anyone else has this issue but if everything is clean it doesn't fit like there needs to be dirty things <laughs> to all fit that's why it was very hard to open this so that's another reason i need to work out so that this can get a little emptier and not as crowded workout outfit so we're doing pilates and treadmill so what does that require I'm kind of in the mood to wear this outfit, which <laughs> if you know, you know, these are brand new shorts from 437 because just go listen to our Gals in the Goat podcast episode where we had Delaney on and you'll know why I had to buy new shorts. So this is giving Pilates princess. It's giving today's going to be a good day. And I also have a matching jacket for her which just kind of makes it and it's a little chilly outside so we're gonna do that these are my super hot new walking shoes with custom foot inserts inside them they're brooks i i love brooks i think they're great they're so comfortable these are like a light gray color this is my putting shoes on chair these are my socks these are my ufos that i've talked about in the podcast as well you miss a lot if you don't listen to the podcast gals on the go they're like recovery sandals specifically for like athletes and stuff or like if you have plantar fasciitis and they also like have a little bit of a raised arch so the woman at the foot store I went to was like you need to just not walk around barefoot I literally brought those flip flops to Greece um, and I think they really helped me like keep my arches up and my knee didn't bother me at all in Greece even though I wasn't necessarily wearing like Shoes with foot inserts every day because I was wearing like heels at points and stuff like that. So I'm really doing the most, but I'm really happy with it. I want, I just bought white pairs of these UFOs because they're so comfortable. Like everyone, that, my mom bought two pairs um, and my friends put them on. They're like, all right, I see the hype. 
Um, and they're not like ugly, you know? They're just like bland looking flip flops, which we all have to have a pair of those. Why is putting on your shoes like workout? Oh! All right, so here's the set. It's seriously so cute. It's a little ruching in the bootay. And for people asking, I just don't wear underwear with pants. Like, you just can't. Like, I mean, I'm going to wash these anyways after. It's not like you're going to re-wear these. And then this is the matching jacket. I can't tell if this is pink. I've been calling it pink, but a part of me thinks it's like a lilac purple. And the jacket is what really pulls it all together. <laughs> Ryan loves this set. <laughs> it's like, it's so flattering. I'm like, I know. I feel like a soccer mom. Just like, it doesn't even like. <laughs> all right. So, this is the set. It's a crowd pleaser. <sighs> Got my bag. What else do I need? Water bottle. Let's go. This, this right here is my reward for working out. This is the OPP smoothie from Juice Generation. You can look it up, the ingredients. I kind of want to try and make it at home, but I also love going to get it. It's so fun. My tongue is like numb because it's so cold, <laughs> but it's like chocolate protein, almond milk, strawberries, bananas, and like one other thing. It literally tastes like a chocolate milkshake, but it's great to have after a workout. Just took a lovely everything shower and by the way our gals on the go brooklyn and bundle is still available it'll get you two towels and the robe and the sheets it's a vibe that's all i gotta say about that and you don't have to get pink you can customize your colors but you just get a better deal by getting all the things rather than buying them separately so yeah i'll have a link down below like i always do to the bundle but i love this towel robe so much like literally so much it's so perfect after a shower. I put it on even if I haven't showered. So that's that on that. The only con, it's not even a con, but like my living room is very well lit, which was very important to me. But on days that I want to like cozy up, I just have these sheer curtains. So like that super sunny patch, that's like my corner, man. Like that's my corner. And I want to sit in it so bad right now and watch a movie and do emails. But so bright and even like if i you know it's a great problem to have i love having a well-lit apartment but i never like am lazy and then i would have to get in bed and i don't want to get in bed so i'm sure the sun will move shortly but it just rained and i wanted it to keep raining but it stopped so it's sunny again i really want to watch endless love because brooke and i were talking about movies that we like to watch like at the beginning of summer for me that would be aquamarine um, I think that's a really good movie to get excited for summer. Parent Trap is great too. And then also newly ad added, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty, I think is an amazing series to watch. It's so feel good. It's so cute. Very summer vibes. And then Brooke said her movie is Endless Love. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I think I'm going to do some computer work and put on Endless Love. And I'm going to make my apartment even colder so I can be cozy in my robe. Maybe we'll do a face mask if we're feeling. I just put on a ton of moisturizer, so maybe not. But vibes are high. I also need to, this stuff is all dry. I need to put it away. I have endless love on, as promised. About to make a little snicky snack. I used to make this a lot, and I, like, forgot about it. Cauliflower sandwich thins with some turkey. Sometimes I add, like, lettuce, tomato, cheese, the whole nine yards. But right now I just need a little snack, so this is what I'm going to do. It's a lot later now. Um, I used my Dyson Airstraight. Got my hair nice and straight. Guys, it's disgusting outside. It's like, it's smoky. It literally like, if I open my balcony door, it smells like smoke outside. It's very eerie. It's really weird. And it's sad. Apparently there's some Canadian wildfire, wildfires that are drifting all the way down here. Like the smoke from it is coming. And my phone did say like air quality is gonna be bad. But I just wasn't really sure what that meant. But it's bad. It's supposed to go away by midnight, but now I'm like, 
I have like this Dyson fan and it has a HEPA filter so I'm like get get the air filtering all the things uh, like the air quality like the index or whatever was like 159 whereas like Delaney and I were FaceTiming and in Georgia it's like 80 so 159 is like really high apparently it's like the highest ever in New York don't quote me on that that's just what Delaney told me but we've got my filter going and I'm just tired it's the it's, I feel like my body still thinks it's in Greece because normally at 9.30 I'm like just starting to work again. But I feel like I need to go to bed. But I have so many more emails to do. I don't know when to know. We're gonna go to bed. We're gonna go to bed. That's what we're gonna do because I'm tired. Morning friends, it's Wednesday, which means we are going to work out with Jane, my amazing trainer. I do strength training with her once a week. And then after I'm gonna go to chill, <laughs> like doing a push-up, I'm gonna go to chill house and do a sauna session there because I am due. I usually try to go once a week and I haven't been in so long. So I've got my workout outfit on and then I need to bring a change of clothes. I like to bring something easy and it's not hot or it's not cold outside. So I'm just bringing this Beyond Yoga jumpsuit. So I'll change into this after I sauna and shower. Bring this little Stony Clover bag, mini temple teaser brush, my cold pressed peel pads, some Sol de Janeiro deodorant, a mini uh, vitamin C serum, milk, uh, eyebrow stuff, and glow screen. Uh, and a claw clip. That's my little like post sauna routine, the products I use at this point. Clothes. Uh oh. So that's going in there. Claw clip going in there. Granola bar that, oh, it's a little broken, but for between gym and sauna in case I'm hungry. And then after sauna, I go to this place next to Chill House and I get a spinach wrap because it's so good. Hand sanitizer, wallet, lip balm. And we'll bring some breath spray, AirPods and essential oil in case I want to put it under my nose before the sauna. These are the things I do, folks. <laughs> All right. That should, oh, and then I bring this little bag to put my dirty workout clothes in because it's not fun when they're just kind of laying around your bag. And then I'm gonna do this with my bag so it's a little smaller. Gotta fill up my water bottle. And then we are good to go. So the air quality in New York City right now is actually disgusting. I'm not really excited to go outside. I've been avoiding going outside. But Delaney said she went outside and doesn't smell as bad as it did yesterday. Um, but the air quality like hasn't gone down. Like it's still at 160, which is like, they're saying New York is the worst air quality in the world right now. Um, that's what I saw on Twitter, so take that for what you will. But it's a little scary. But they, I mean, I look outside and everyone's still outside. I don't know. I don't know. But we're just going to go brave it. I hope it doesn't smell as smoky as it did yesterday. It's from Canadian Wildflowers. I forgot if I said this last night. I was so tired last night when I was ending the vlog for the night. Water bottle that's going to make a lot of noise on my walk there. All right, let's go do the day. the video is doing it justice like I need to go inside back home now 
thank God. I wish I had brought a mask with me, but I stopped in a place and they gave me a mask because it was just disgusting outside. One thing about me, I love anything grape flavored and the new poppy grape is everything to me. I'm literally sitting in front of my Dyson air purifier right now to like filter out anything. <laughs> it's time for a little Whole Foods haul. Finally got actual groceries and meals to make. The two meals I'm gonna make this week are ground turkey taco bowls and chickpea pasta with meatballs. So, um, I, ha I got green beans and broccoli as well as potential sides. My favorite hummus as of late, Abraham's hummus. It's roasted red pepper, so good. Got some salsa for the taco bowl, eggs, peeled garlic, two cottage cheeses, cause I'm going through those like crazy. Ground turkey, of course, bananas, apples, avocados, lettuce, uh, turkey bacon for the morning if I'm feeling it. Turkey breast as a snack or to put on a cauliflower thin. Turkey burgers, another option to put on a cauliflower thin. These are so good. I've had them before. Got some grass-fed beef meatballs, organic, to pair with the Bonza chickpea pasta. Always got to have some pearled couscous on hand. This is my favorite. Some Rayo's tomato sauce, black beans for the turkey bowl, various strawberries, uh, blackberries, some taco seasoning and grapes that's the whole baby i'm in the mood for a little snack and nothing hits like cucumbers with hummus i really hope i don't get tired of it i haven't had cucumbers and hummus a lot recently so i'm like extra primed for them and i'm just gonna cut up this whole thing and i know it's an english cucumber but i kind of like the little bites like i kind of like the little ones i mean i like the big ones too but I don't know. It does something for me. I keep having roll away. Runaway cucumbers. But um, yeah, I'm just going to cut the whole thing and then put it in some Tupperware so that when I'm hungry and I want a quick snack, I'm not like, ah, what can I eat? I have these to dip in the hummus. And because sometimes I get lazy, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to cut anything right now. Well, it's pre cut, Danielle. It's pre cut. Trying on some things I got from Revolve. I also just did my hair and makeup because I have an event later. And look at this set. I wish we had a Gals on the Go live show like tomorrow because, I mean, I'll just save it for this and I'll probably wear it before then too because this is so cute. I'll link everything I'm showing down below, but I was just like, while I'm trying things on, might as well do a little try on haul. This set is, I feel hot. I feel hot. I feel cute. I love this top. I love the pants. They fit perfectly. Well, imagine I have heels on. How cute. I am obsessed with drop waist dresses right now, or just anything drop waist. I think it's so flattering and so cute. So I got this dress. It's from the brand Look Academy. I feel like a ballerina. It kind of reminds me of the white dress I wore in Greece that is sold out everywhere. So this is a great option. I think it's so cute with sandals or some wedges, like just walking around the market. <laughs> so yeah, again, I'll have the, all these linked below under like a Revolve favorites folder just to make it easier for you guys because I'm trying to make it easier but I'm obsessed. This dress is also so cute. It's got all these ruching, another drop waist, just little black dress. I love this for summer. It's giving New England summer. I'm obsessed. It's a nice thick material, a cute little slit in the back. This is the perfect summer New England dress. I mean, anywhere, but I, I feel as though I am in Nantucket. This dress is stunning. Like this one shoulder, I love this little cutout. It actually comes with this gold chain for the other shoulder, but I just don't love it. But I love the dress, so I just tucked it in. I just think this kind of cheapens the look, but I love it without. BRB living in this dress this summer. This bow is so freaking cute. Like I just have five things in mind that I would wear this to. Like, dinner after the beach all day or like Sunday brunch. I mean, it's so cute and it's the perfect length too. I am 5'3 though, so if you're tall, it may not be the perfect length. <laughs> Another perfect vacay dress. It's this beautiful purple color with like, almost looks like palm fronds kinda. I love, like it snatches the waist, you guys. Like we are in, we are tucked and the back is so cute. I don't wear a lot of short dresses, but this one, this is coming to the Hamptons with me, baby. This top is so cute. It needs to be steamed a little bit. But it reminds me of like the peplum days. Is peplum coming back? It's this beautiful like strapless. It zips in the back. Pink color. 
perfect for summer. I just put on some bottoms. I, I was looking, I thought these were my white jeans and I pulled them out as a skirt, so ignore. But I don't think it looks that bad with the skirt. Um, I love this top. I wish it would just get a little less wrinkled, but we love her. I love this top as well. It is like this really cute cutout. I love it. Again, I would not wear it with this skirt. I would probably just wear it with like some white linen pants. But how fun. I love the cutouts, love the blue. It's so fun. This is a nice thick tank top. I love the thick straps. I love the texture. It actually looks really cute with this white skirt. Maybe tucked in would be more of the vibe with like a belt, but I love it. So this brand did a collaboration with Sophia Richie and this is one of the dresses. So naturally I had to get it. Well, I liked it before and then I was like, oh, Bye, new Sophia Richie, count me in. Such a cute midi dress with a little cutout. I have a really short torso, so sometimes you can't always see the cutout, but I love the puff sleeves, the little bow, the slit. This is just perfect for the summer. It's an easy outfit. While we're showing clothes, I thought I'd also show you guys this shirt that I got in black and white from Urban Outfitters, $35, also linked on my LTK. Um, under my post, just look for the photo of me wearing this, and it'll be linked there. How cute is this asymmetrical top? Again, I got it in white as well. I'm wearing a size medium. It's double lined right here, so you don't have to wear a bra if you don't want to. At least I don't. Um, oh, I'm obsessed with this so much. With the shorts, how cute. All right, we are headed to my friend Serena's event at Joe and the Juice on Wall Street. She just launched her own shake smoothie with Joe and the Juice nationwide, which is so sick. I'm like, that is so cool. Um, so she's having a little event and I was like, you know what? My social battery's charged. I'll go for a little bit and it's like a strawberry shake. I'm pretty sure So I was like, I'll wear my new pink top because I love this top so much pretending like It's this beautiful sunny day <laughs> And then jeans are Hudson jeans or mother jeans. I think they're white jeans. I'm like southern girlfriend right now <laughs> Shoes are Dolce Vita. I love these. I bought a new pair because last year mine got wrecked because I wore them every day They're the perfect just like little heel Bottega bag. I'm gonna bring my mask too because it's gross out, but it's indoors. So I was like, we'll go and then we'll come back home. But yeah, that is the plan. That is the fit. I can't believe you guys were gonna let me leave the house without switching to my big earrings. And I added some bangles too. Okay, now we're gonna leave. We're home now. I got like no footage there. It was packed in there, you guys. Um, but I'm happy I went. I hadn't been to like an event in a minute. And I've, my social skills were tested though, because I've just been like with myself a week. I mean, not actually, like I've seen people, but like, you know, in that social setting. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am up. But it was lovely. And it was so cool to try the smoothie and everything like that. But I came home and I just like, I literally washed my hair last night, but I was like, I just need to wash my hair again. I needed to shower. I felt disgusting. And I had gelled up my hair, which was probably dumb, but I just like, like how it looks. So I was like, let me just wash it out. Like my head was hurting from having my hair up and nothing like I was probably in there for 15 minutes, just like with the hot water on me. And I kind of want to try heatless curls tonight. Call me crazy. Watching Kardashians and I just am not in the mood for like a huge meal like those other ones I cooked. So I actually had a tomato and mozzarella and it looks really bad because I put on too much balsamic vinegar. But I think it's going to be good. It only like went in the middle. It didn't even go on the actual food. Tomato, mozzarella, little Italian seasoning, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Cheers. I'm also going to make some green beans too. And then I'll have some for leftovers tomorrow. Coffee house playlist is on. So are my eye patches, my coffee. Getting some work done to start this day. Decided to go hard for breakfast this morning and I'm really excited about it. Okay, I just got my essential oil diffuser going because I cooked turkey bacon. And anytime I sort cook any sort of meat, bacon in particular, um, it smells like meat in my apartment. And we just don't like that. So got that going. Um, today is my big day of being with people. My social battery is definitely charged, which is amazing. I just put this on because I was like taking trash down up the stairs or down up the elevator, <laughs> not the stairs. Um, and I couldn't really wear my robe anymore. Um, it's time to refill my supplements. I do need to take a shower still. Going on, Brooke and I are going on our friend Peyton Sarton's podcast, Note to Self, which I'm so excited about. She's in town and wanted to have Brooke and I on, which was an honor for sure. So we're gonna do that, but I haven't seen Brooke since before I went to Greece. So her and I were like, there is no way we can just walk into this podcast. Like her and I need to have a debrief of like, she's been in Toronto, the Hamptons, I've been to Greece. Like. We have so much to discuss, so we're getting coffee at Blue Bottle beforehand. 
um, but I need to get like podcast ready. So yeah, but I'm just gonna refill my supplements, get that all squared away. Happy Thursday. Okay, just finished getting ready and I have to wear this dress. I'm just obsessed with it. I feel like it's a good podcasting dress and I'm just gonna pretend I'm mentally in New England. I filled in my eyebrows today. What do we think? Since I like dyed my roots a little darker, I don't know. Dress, like I said, we'll have linked down below. And then I'm wearing sneakers. I'm gonna go meet Brooke for coffee, get all the, the debrief in, and then we'll go record with Peyton. Like, now we go horizontal. Like, Here with Peyton. Yes. <laughs> this is great. We're so excited. Yes. Yay. We are back now. The episode went amazingly. She said it will be up in like two weeks. We talked about all of our summer favorites and we just had like a good old chat, a little summer in the city chat. Peyton loves New York City, so we talked a lot about that. I'm all like wound up though because that was a lot of socialization for me this week or today. Ugh, so we're gonna have some kombucha and a wine glass to wind down. The only way to do it. It's 3 p.m. Um, I have a bit of a night tonight. I'm kind of excited about it. But yeah, I have a call in 15 minutes, just like a little brief one. I'm gonna get all my emails done because like I got all of them done this morning and then of course the replies come back and you know. So then you sit down and do the next <laughs> load of emails. How are you guys? Like are you guys do you respond to emails as they come or do you do like a big dump? I mean like if something's urgent, I'll respond to it right then and there, but I love sitting down and just like getting email, 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 and then waiting like a few hours until I get them all back. That's just me. So I just get kombucha on me dress now. But um, oh, I just need to take a sip of this. Oh. You fork. My lazy lunch that you guys keep seeing me eat. I go in like phases, like food fixation. So right now it's the cauliflower thins with some turkey breast. If I had like sliced cheese, I would definitely add that right now. <laughs> this is, you guys are probably like, ew, but it hits so hard. And, but I'll probably still be hungry after this, so I'll have like a spoonful of cottage cheese and I'll be good to go. Hello from the lab. <laughs> I'm just doing emails and, um, why did I turn the camera? Oh, tonight is my friend, well, this weekend's my one of my best friends, Daly's birthday, and she's doing like a fun little happy hour tonight at a bar in Chelsea that I've never been to, which I'm really excited about, like super casual vibes. I also like, this is, <laughs> I don't have like work happy hours, obviously, um, and I always just think that's, I like love hearing about them, and this is like a lot of her work friends will be there, and it's just like a happy hour vibe, and I'm just here. I mean, it's at 8.30, so I guess it's not a happy hour time, but you know what I mean. I'm here for the happy hour vibes, and I'm in the mood to drink. I'm ready. Social battery is charged, and Ryan's going to come over. I'm going to make us some dinner, and I actually am going to make us cocktails, too, because why not? I think that'll be so fun. I have stuff to make him an old-fashioned. I've never made an old-fashioned before, so we're going to see how it goes. And then I also um, have stuff always to make myself a mm -hmm. Moscow Mule because I'm in my Moscow Mule era. So I'm excited. It's Thursday. The start, like the weekend is just on its way, but I'm just going to keep doing this a little bit and then we'll start cooking dinner and doing all that. But hey, that's the plan. I have hype cleaning mix on from Spotify. It like personalizes it for you and it's low key. Just getting me where I need to be. Um, ground turkey is cooking. Just chopped up lettuce, black beans. I'm gonna wait to put in the microwave till like Ryan's here. Hot sauce, salsa, just making like a little ground turkey taco bowl, no rice, just like salad as the base. We'll see how it goes. I should have gotten like tortilla chips or something. Oh well. Okay, now, okay, we're just gonna try and make some drinks. So I got myself as a GoPuff order. I got myself, I got more Sprit Society too, always. I got stuff for me to make a Moscow meal. I have the, so it's lime juice, vodka, Grey Goose, of course, and ginger beer, which is in the fridge. Then for Ryan, I'm gonna attempt, it was, this is gonna be interesting because I've never done this before. And he's probably gonna be like, this sucks, but it's the thought that counts. I'm gonna attempt to make an old fashioned. So we have Maker's Mark whiskey or bourbon, whatever, simple syrup. And then this was like required. So I hope this is like, okay. It's like some sort of bitters and then sugar and an orange peel. And I can only get a count of three, but I love oranges. So I'll eat the rest and then spritz is uninvolved. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my Moscow meal first, and then when he says he's on his way, I'll like start making his drink, cause that would be pointless if I made it now, and then it was like surprise. Oh my god! Actually, no, I don't think I have it. I thought I had like a big ice cube, like they put in old fashions, but I don't think so. Okay, I took a quick pause to fix my hair and put on my outfit for tonight, but I don't even know if I'm gonna wear this shirt. Honestly, the only thing about wearing like semi low rise jeans with corsets is then it's like there's your hips. So. I don't know. I don't hate it. These are like my favorite good American like loose jeans. And this top is meow, but I just don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to feel cute. Um, oh, I'm getting hungry. I need Ryan to be here. <laughs> We're going to make my Moscow mule. Oh, thank you. I have these beautiful glasses that Margot Lee gave to me. It's like a housewarming gift, which was so nice. They're like... They're nice, you can hold them there, this little slant to them. Got the ginger beer as well. I've never had this brand of ginger beer. Usually I have the Fever Tree brand. It's like the one they use at all the bars, I feel like. But this will do the trick. Um, so I could like read instructions, but I feel like I just wanna do it based off of what I know. So actually, I don't even know if I need this. Let's think. I'll use the spoon instead, the stir, because I feel like I shouldn't shake ginger beer, right? This shall be funny. Um, okay. I'm like, when should I add the ice? Maybe not. Clearly, I don't make cocktails a lot at home. Clara, if you're watching this, I need you really bad. So I am a slow drinker, so a lot of times I will order myself a double, if I remember, of a drink, just because I drink it so slow. So might as well. I just remembered I have a workout in the morning, a Sculpt Society workout, which I love. It's like cardio. So that affects my decisions tonight. But we'll do like this double shot situation. And the reason I've been drinking a lot more Grey Goose, I like try to order it now. It's a little bit more expensive. I haven't been like hungover. I haven't been pukey because it's just like better quality vodka. Uh, okay, so we have the vodka. And then I don't know how much lime juice. This is the thing. Don't judge me for getting this. My mom always makes fun of me. Like, I just don't feel like, oh, good. I just broke it. Juicing limes. Um, oh, is it? Is there a little cappy on there? I have no idea. And then top it off with ginger beer. I feel like sometimes Moscow meals will also do a little soda, but I'm unsure. And then we'll use our little mixer here. And then I'll get a straw for the full effect. Very good. I feel like it does need soda water. Do I have any? Oh, I do. I have like an opened one. I don't even know if it's soda-y anymore. It's probably not even carbonated. But I feel like it needed that. Let's see if that does anything to dilute the ginger just a tad. Better. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I also love Moscow mules because ginger is like good for your digestion and your stomach. So it helps like if your stomach's upset. So I just feel like Mo Grey Goose Moscow mules are my drink of the summer. Drink of the summer. All right. Cheers to that. Don't you love men? Ryan was supposed to text me when he left his apartment so that that would be when I started making his drink. And I was like, I haven't heard from him. I just tracked him. He's on his way. Thank God for finding my friends, like literally. But bruh, I wanted to like have this. And now, oh my God. Oh my God, don't panic. Do not panic. I have to attempt to do an orange peel. Oh my God. He's like laughing. He was like, I would have been fine with beer. And I was like, I just wanted to do this for you. So he's been so stressed with lots of things, family, work. Like there's just a lot going on in his life right now. So I just wanted tonight to be a nice night for him. Okay. I, this one I do need. This thing always sticks to everything. I do need the instructions for this. Okay, I think I do this. It called for sugar. You like mix the sugar with this bitter stuff. 
Oh my God, I wanted to have this ready for him. He's gonna, he didn't care. It was just a me thing. Okay, so one teaspoon. Oh shit, it's like the sugar's just in there. Okay. One teaspoon of sugar. I did not know old fashions had sugar in them. That's so interesting. Three dashes of Angostura bitters. Oh, okay, I see. One, two, three. Ah, that was more than three. I don't know, it seems small. One teaspoon of water. Interesting. Mix that all together. Stir it until the sugar is dissolved. Okay, this is actually isn't that hard. This is like the hardest part. Oh, that does smell like a old fashioned kind of drink. So then I add the ice. Do I add the ice? Fill it, yes. Add the bourbon. How much bourbon? Smells like college. Oh my god. Okay. He's here. All right. So I've mixed the bitters. Do you want a double shot or a single shot? Uh, we can do a double. That's what I did too. Good choice. That's the bartender's uh, recommendation. I won't charge you for the double shot. Awesome. Whew. Smells like formal. <laughs> And look at this fancy mixer. I didn't buy this, I had this. Strain into Grok's glass over one large ice cube. I don't have one large ice cube, so what do you want? I eat a few small ice okay. cubes. <laughs> Good choice. Also the bartender recommendation. All right. Oh, I just have to peel the orange. Then we'll be good to go. How's your day going, sir? Good, good. <laughs> I just need the uh, dish towel in my pocket. <laughs> Why don't we just do it? I'm a bartender. What'll it be? Yeah, I got you next. <laughs> All right. If this is really bad, it's okay. Oh my God, it's so small. Is that what an old fashioned? Yeah, I guess old fashioned they usually are. And then this will peel. All right. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. It's so sad looking. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. Wait, cheers. I made a Moscow meal. Cheers. Yeah, it's great. It's so okay if it's not. I don't no, know. it's fine. It's, yeah. it's good. It's okay, good. okay, it's okay. Good. okay. Yeah. All right, here's the ground turkey taco salad. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. All right, you guys. Uh, we went to Daly's uh, birthday party for a little bit. <laughs> catched up with, uh, caught, catched up, oh my god, caught up with a ton of people. I just did my skincare, self tan my face, so I'll wake up nice and glowy. I've got my red lights on. Ryan and I are watching We're the Millers in the other room, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think I really liked this vlog. Hope you guys did too. Stay tuned for a fun weekend in my life vlog coming up next. And I'll see you guys next time for our next video. Bye.